Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now, ISI is not the only atmosphere. Okay. So, let us see, let us see some other atmospheres. First of all, let us look at the atmosphere that is uh, applicable in the US. So, you have uh, 288.16 or 15 at sea level and the lapse rate is 6.5, which is what we know. And then there is zero lapse rate between 11 to 36,000 feet or um, you know 20 to 20,000 meters, but in ISA this is constant to 25, in US it is up to 20. Okay. So, you can see there are minor differences, the sea level temperature uh, in the US atmosphere could be the same, but there are subtle variations. Let us look at the chart again, so this is the variation of pressure, density and temperature. Uh, for the US atmosphere or the US standard atmosphere. Now, tell me at which place in USA is this weather recorded? Because if we say atmosphere, there must be a place. So, what is the location and what is the season, which month of the year and which day of the month? on which this particular atmosphere is recorded in USA. Can you guess? Is there a need for something like this? No, because like ISA, you need not have that anywhere. Similarly, you need not have this at one place. This is a standard followed in the US. It does not mean it is there at Denver or at some place. So, why is it done? So, that aircraft which are operating in the US designed by the US people when they talk to each other and if they say we do not follow ISA, we follow USA whatever, this is what they refer to. Normally they do not, normally people only talk of ISA, but there can be. What about India? So, we also have done some studies about atmosphere prevalent in our country. So, we have defined something called as a IRA. So, when we buy an aircraft from somewhere, we say tell us the performance under IRA, then only it is useful to us. You may fly at Mach 1.7 in ISA, I do not care, I do not have ISA, I have IRA. So, tell me in IRA, okay. So, what is IRA? IRA is atmosphere which is standard, considered to be a standard in India, which is valid in the Indian equatorial zone up to only 80 kilometers. Above that, it goes into space and they have their own way of calculating, which I do not really know. This data was recorded way back in 85 and after that, there has been no plans to do any upgrade or change. It is a standard, so it remains like that. So, what is basically IRA? IRA is a series of tables. It contains the values of temperature in Kelvin pressure in millibars and density in kg per meter cube and this is just an information for you that in IRA conditions, okay, between let us say the, the temperature you can see, you can see this is a variation over the years recorded in India. So, it is not constant, you can see it goes in cycles, right. So, that is why what we have done is we have drawn a mean line. So, it varies from 53 to 71, okay, we draw a mean line uh, and similarly we draw a mean line here and we just keep it like that. This is only for information and these are the values recorded on a particular day also, a particular year. So, this is the average of so many years recorded in the country. So, you notice that the temperatures are not remaining constant throughout the year, there are seasonal variations also. 
so such charts are used mostly mostly by airlines to plan out you will notice if you look at the if you look at the timetable of an airline you will not find the same time for a flight on all days of the year there are there is a summer timetable there is a winter timetable and there is a changes yeah okay so this is the question that i would like you to answer i don't know you have to search on the links see for everything i quote here i am going to give a link so you should go to the link check out yourself and put on the moodle that the question in the class was which so the answer is this it's nice it's that's that's what i would like to do okay so we are in mumbai so let's level look at mumbai data you will be here for some time now it's better you know when to carry a chhatri and when not to carry a chhatri so november 2016 this is the actual recorded data at mumbai the highest was 36 degrees the lowest was 21 degrees and then you have humidity and pressure also okay and uh, the average was 29 degrees centigrade so that is the average temperature in mumbai in november for the temperature now mumbai location is 14 meters above mean sea level so therefore from 288.16 it will reduce at the rate the temperature will uh, change slightly at 14 meters very slightly okay so calculation may under isa conditions mumbai should have a temperature of 15.16 degree pressure of one atmosphere and density of 1.225 roughly under isa condition assuming almost sea level okay but the temperature actually is 29 degree centigrade under isa it would have been 15 degree centigrade therefore we say that mumbai is isa plus 14 okay so mumbai is isa plus 14 or isa plus 15 so when it is isa plus 15 one very interesting assumption is made we assume that the temperature profile at mumbai from sea level to say 55 km etc it is a parallel line to the isa line by 14 degrees by 14 so the temperature line only ha huh? so the temperature variation at mumbai will be 288.16 plus 14 minus 6.5 degree per kilometer up to 11 kilometers it will remain that till 25 it will become plus 3 degrees till 47 it will remain that till 53 above that i don't care got it okay i really don't care because we are not going into spacecraft design in this course what you need to know is how, now how do you calculate density of air at 2 kilometers in mumbai so you calculate pressure at sea level will be same as 101 because pressure is not changing we assume that the pressure remains one atmosphere okay you can see it's 1016 bar so it's roughly the value of sea level if you are very particular you can say no the average pressure is 1012 okay so p1 by p2 equal to no t2 t1 by t2 to the power g by lr correct so this t will be t plus 14 and temp at 2 km it will be t plus 14 minus 6.5 degrees by whatever 6 per 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 uh, into 2 because it's 2 km so by that you can get the value so assume that the pressure at sea level remains same as the sea level under isa even in isa plus 14 but temperature change so the only thing that changes is temperature hence density changes this is how we do the calculations so in the tutorial that we do we will do some practice so that you can get a feel for this this is very important this you need to know right yes yes no 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 if an aircraft is coming as a passenger aircraft we don't say fly in ir or something i'm just saying when we buy an aircraft and we want to know its performance we say give us the performance in ira give us the performance table in ira so when you want when you want to talk about a reference value you say under isa so much so this guy under isa so much this guy under isa so much i can compare but normally when we procure something we say we don't want to worry about isa it may be very good in isa apko ira mein chahiye give us the values in ira 
So if I compare the values in IRA, I will get the answers of the parameters that I will normally see in the country, okay, yes. What is that adult gas equation? Hmm. Huh. So, do you know the pressure at a higher altitude? At sea level, yes, P equal to rho RT, that is how you get the value of rho. But at a high altitude, pressure is changing, temperature is changing, density is changing. What do you do? That is why we need to go for the hydrostatic equation you get dp by p and p is equal to rho rt good good questions any other question yes how do you answer this question Kashmir sa Kanakumari Bharat ek hai that we say but it is not the same as far as temperature is concerned. So let me put a counter question the same is true for ISA also. I told you that nowhere in the world we have a temperature like ISA so then we take a reference na. So similarly in India also we have taken a reference okay. There is no particular place in India where we say Allahabad the temperature here is ISA IRA no. There is one nominal value assumed to be valid in the country. Okay, and that is called as the reference for my country. It does not mean that it has to be present anywhere, but it is a rough information. So, basically, IRA is equal to ISA plus 15 generally. Okay, sometimes we say ISA plus 20, but the IRA is defined. There is a document, our library has a document. I think Professor Oja also has done calculations. In fact, before Professor Oja, there was one more professor who came from HAL. He has done the calculations and there is a small write up available in our departmental library, IRA tables are available, okay. Let us look at some other temperatures, Arctic minimum and tropical maximum, okay. Uh, recorded minimum temperature all over the world is in Antarctica at some place, I do not know, it is minus 75 degrees centigrade. And the recorded maximum value is in Somalia in South Africa which is plus 65. So we know that the variation is so large at earth. So therefore some two more temperature, uh, two more um, SAs have been defined. One is called as a Arctic minimum atmosphere and the other is called as a tropical maximum atmosphere for very cold countries and very hot countries. And these graphs are defining. As you notice that as the latitude increases, as you go away from the equator, temperature falls. We know that. Okay, now we come to the question about these various altitudes and how are they reconciled. So we call them as Q altitudes or Q codes. There are many of them. Let us see one by one. The first one is called as a QNH. What is QNH? First of all, there is something called as QFE. QFE is the height from the current location below. This you measure by a radio altimeter, okay, because you ask a question about how do you measure? The answer is if I want to measure the height from a particular location, I can use a radio altimeter. I will send a beam and take it back and find out the delta H. That height is called as a QFE, okay. But there is something called as a QNH, which is the altitude from the location plus the height of the location above mean sea level. So the mean sea level in Mumbai is 14 meters and let us say I am at Khandala, which has got some height. So the QFE over Khandala will be measured directly above Khandala and the QNH will be from the mean sea level. Remember the mean sea level also changes from place to place. So this is a location specific. QNH at Mumbai, QNH at Pune can be different because sea level there may be slight variation, okay. Then you have something else also, okay. We assume that 101.3.2 is the uh, pressure. 
right. So, the pressure is measured at the ground reduced to the mean sea level pressure that is called as the QNH and the altitude is displayed above mean sea level. Now, there are others also. Now, you can see there is an airport located in some beautiful hill. So, it has got some elevation from the ground. The dark line is so the runway is location at that place. So, QFE will be above that, right. Then you have QNH, which is sea level datum. As you can see, it is not the same everywhere. But we also have the third one, which is corrected not to the sea level, but to the mercury value corresponding to a standard sea level, which can be different from place to place. So, to be very sure because we use it using instruments, right. Ultimately, the pilot is using instruments. So, we say if the reference is sea level, then it is QNH. If the reference is some theoretical place where the pressure is equal to 29.92 inches of mercury, that theoretical value reference is QNE. So, QNH, QNE, there can be a slight difference. It could be positive, it could be negative also, correct. So, what are you concerned about? You are concerned about QFE above the earth, but QNH. So, basically, when you take off from some airport like Mumbai and when you come to land in, say, Delhi, the pilot has to adjust the altimeter to take care of the elevation at Mumbai, at Delhi. So, the pilot will ask the ATCO or there are charts available, the ATCO will say. So, when you, I will just show you some communication between ADC and pilots, you will see where they talk about this, okay, right. Now, the last thing that we have are some very, very interesting videos about the effect of weather. I do not think I will be able to show all of you, all of them to you, but I will try to show you some of them. So, the things that affect our flying is turbulence, wind shear, clouds, rains and microburst. So, in the interest of time, I think I will show you first turbulence, uh, no, no, not turbulence, rain because there is a pilot communication about the QNS and QFE. So, this is a weather radar which shows presence of heavy rain to the pilot. The pilot is approaching to land. You can just increase the volume, please, slightly. Now, so this is the tower, control tower, the ATCO, speaking to the pilot, saying wind 0 to 0 degrees. That means the wind is coming from. 20 degrees north onwards at 15 knot speed. So, you have to be aware that I may I may have some crosswinds or headwinds or tailwinds QNH 1015. So, he is saying the airport where I am located the ATC was saying has a QNH of 1015. So, adjust karo because your instrument should also have a QNH of 1015, then we are on the same page. Otherwise, you will follow the instruments and you will hit the ground. Clear to land runway 06. Now, runway 06, I will explain to you in another video. When I come to landing, I am going to explain to you what is meant by runway 06. I stopped here because I wanted you to understand what it is. Now, see what the pilot says. Okay. So, for your information, sir, airport is just above landing minima. So, there are certain landing minimas. That means, you cannot land unless you have these, these, these things. So, we are just above the minima. And Airbus 320 on the runway reported 800 meters visibility. One of the basic problem at an airport during bad weather is visibility. Okay. So, every airport and actually every aircraft has got systems which can help. So, there are some minimum values. You are not supposed to operate below the minima from safety point of view. So, the ATCO is cautioning the pilot that please understand we are undergoing a weather condition at which we are just above the landing minima 
and the visibility told by someone who just went recently is 800 meters. That means the pilot can see only up to 800 meters. Beyond that, it is hazy. So he is cautioning the pilot. And one more thing you notice, this is the place where you should focus because you will see the runway landing lights there. Okay, that is what the pilot is going to report now. Right, it is a caution, weather information. There is a Okay. So, the first officer says copy weather conditions. That means I confirm that I know that there is a 800 meter visibility reported and we have thunderstorms. Now, 6.5 miles with the approach lighting system in sight. So, he says according to my instrumentation, I am 6.5 miles away and I can see the approach lights, which is correct. You can also see. Okay. Now see what happens. Very important. The ATCO is confirming that you can see the runway lights. Because if you do not see the lights, then you may be below the minimum you have to abort. So he says affirmative. Remember all the conversations are recorded in the cockpit voice recorder. Therefore, the pilots have to say yes. They do not say yes, no, they talk of negative, affirmative. This is the language that they use. Thunderstorms, not visible now, okay. So, the pilot will continue to fly till the aircraft reaches the per prescribed minima and at the minima if the that means suppose the minima is 400 meters when you are when you are at that place and you cannot see you have to abort one second after that you might be able to see sorry okay so this is a situation where there is now a confusion there is a slight issue so there is a weather front approaching it is not visible So, the moment it is visible, the pilot communicates again and says 2 miles on short final. That means now I am 2 miles away, I am on my final, okay. There is also short final, long final, those are details. But the moment the pilot sees again, it confirms that yes, I am on the final. So, ATCO is saying, Roger, I understand. Are you still able to see the lights? Because the rule is if you are not able to see at the final, you are supposed to abort. Affirmative. Yes, I can see on the final. So now you will hear an inner marker sound. Rain has come now. That's it, touch down. After this, it is touch down. Okay.